So what is middleware? Any idea? Hmm? Middleware is nothing but a reusable piece of code which will help you to define different type of authentication, authorization will be comes into picture. For example, you are making a request to the server. Server receives the request. Whether the request is a valid request, for that you make an authentication. Right? Once you define that, then you will go to the subsequent request to define the authorization. After that, when you make an authorization, the respective request is a valid request for that authorization or not, we will define. So like that, the chain of functionality will be implemented. Or you got my point? So that in a, in, a, in a single request call, there are two to three middlewares will be available. Or you got my point? So let me show you the paint. You have middleware one, you have middleware two, you have middleware three, right? And the user is making a request from the browser. So this is your browser, right? And this is your middleware one right and this is your middleware two and this is your middleware three whenever you make a request whenever you make a request the request will goes from browser to middleware one and then it will go to middleware two. And then it will go to middleware three. After successfully completing middleware three, the middleware three will send the response back to middleware two. Middleware two receive the response and then give back to middleware one. So whenever the middleware one receives a response from middleware 2 and middleware 3. Or you got my point? Whenever middleware 1 will receive a response from middleware 2 and middleware 3. After receiving it, the entire middleware response object, the collection of middleware response object will send back to the browser as a rendering output. Send back the response as a rendering output. So, how to implement this kind of middleware? So, what type of logic a basically a middleware may contain? Middleware may contain authentication. You can have an authentication middleware. And uh, you can have an authorization middleware. You can have uh, anything related to concepts. Or you got my point? So, whenever the browser makes a request, what is my first middleware? Authentication. What is my second middleware? Authorization. What is my third middleware? Concepts. Right? So once you've done that, I'm going to implement the same logic using ASP.NET code. How I'm going to do that? Go here, Visual Studio. Creating a new project. I'm not going to use the old project. I'm going to create a new project.
file new project asp.net core mt next i am going to say sample core middleware application i am giving a name as sample core middleware application in the sample core go to location under e drive vit .net2 mvc core select folder run next i'm going to use a long term support i don't want configure https create my application is created so before talking about application what is your first file to execute the program program.cs file under program.cs file what is the method main method am i right or wrong but here you won't see a main method why because it is inbuilt the program file or you got my point so this is how this will be created now let's talk about line by line what is the purpose this line this line is used to create a web application app web application app using create builder method create builder method which is static in nature what is static method without creating an object you can call a method that's what we discussed right now go and see here what our i say is right whatever i said is right or wrong right so now after creating an object that object will be build that means it will create a response back to the business before build and after map get you will have a app dot run method sir so where i need to write my middle words before writing a middleware yesterday we discussed about http context am i right or wrong so how to use http context app dot run this is how you have to write right under which you will write a one more async http context context right this is how you have to write so what you will write here context dot response dot write async you say first middleware component this is my first middleware component what is the problem because of async you need to have a await method this is new feature in shisha are you got my point like that i am going to create another component i am going to create an another component are you got my point so here i am going to say second middleware here i am going to say third middleware so how many middlewares i configured 
three middlewares. So, sir, you can ask a question. Sir, if this is middleware. Yes, any logic you are written under run will be treated as a middleware component. You can see whenever you are getting a request from the app, you are going to validate that request. Or you got my point. So for that, you are having three middlewares. Now I'm putting a breakpoint of all the three middlewares. Here I'm going to use BR tag. So after doing that, After doing that, I'm putting all the weight method. When I try to execute, only this first middleware component will be executed. It will not execute second middleware and third middleware. I'll tell you why. So how many middleware we configured? How many middleware we configured? Three middleware. But my application will run only with one middleware to see. Now I got the response here. Now function F11, it will execute only one middleware and it will directly skip to run method. It will directly skip to run method. Why? What is the reason, sir? The reason is app dot run. The reason is app dot run method will be your your last call. It will not call the another app dot run. Always you will have only one app dot run method in your entire program. Or you got my point? For that, you need to have method chaining, middleware chaining. Or you got my point? So instead of app dot run for your first method, you will use app dot use method. You will use app dot use method. When I use app dot use method in the in the request, you will have request delegate, which has the next object. Or you got my point. After executing this await, you need to write a program called await next. Pass the context. But it that means that this app dot context is executed immediately. It will go to this particular run method. Now you see. function executed. Now, which method it is calling? It is calling a next. It is calling a next or not? Which is a request to delegate. Or you got my point? That next internally call the app.run method. Now you see. App.run is calling or not? So middleware chaining is happening or not? Now see, your second method is not executed. The third method is not executed. How to build your third method executed? Again, you have to go and make your second method as use.
कमा रिक्वेस्ट डेलीगेट एंड नेक्स्ट ऑफ कॉन्टेक्स्ट so it is expecting awaiting the execution of current method regard my point so it will run all the three methods now now you see function f11 F11, it is coming here. Again, it is coming to here. Middleware chaining is happening. Bus. All the three components are executed. Now we understand what is middleware. In a single before app run, you can build all your middleware by using use use method. App dot use method. So, what is middleware then? what the note we can write in middleware middleware first point middleware is used to write a business logic with respect to authentication authentication authorization and catching etc or i got my point the second point asp.net core app object will hold to those middleware Am I right or wrong? ASP.NET app object will hold those middlewares. How they are going to hold those middlewares? App dot third point. App dot use method is used to execute middleware sequentially. Use it to execute the middleware concept, middleware logic sequentially. Middleware logic sequentially. Are you got my point? And the fourth point is where where use method requires. Use method requires what are all the parameter? HTTP context and request delegate as a as a parameter. Regard my point. Use method is used to execute the middleware logic sequentially, where use method require HTTP context. request delegate as a parameter or you got my point with the help of fourth point with the help of request method request delegate with the help of request delegate we can call we can call subsequent subsequent middleware component subsequent middleware component am i right or wrong without your use use method will you able to call the subsequent middleware component no only if you use the run method what will happen only one component one middleware will be executed the remaining middleware will be omitted out how to make the method chaining app dot use method so i can simply say to create middleware chaining to create middleware method chaining 
we need to use we need to use app dot use method make sense make sense app dot use method so now you understand what is middleware middleware is used to write a business logic with respect to authentication authorization and catching etc asp.net core object will hold those middleware app dot use method is used to execute middleware logic sequentially where use method require http context and request delegate class as a parameter see because these two are classes so we need to write request delegate and http context as a class as a parameter with help of request delegate we can call middleware not middleware it is a middleware middleware component to create middleware method chaining we need to use app dot use method app dot use method now what is the app dot run method app dot run method is used to call the final middleware to complete the process i got my point app dot middleware run method is the used to call final middleware component to complete the process in which in which it requires it requires only http context class as a parameter http context class as a parameter i got my point so this is the concept of middleware in asp.net core mvc i got my point now sir i build the logic what are all the logic i build now before i go with this let me go one second it is not showing me in a breaking point go to my folder vit .net2 core mvc oh see i don't know why it is not working it should work okay or you can put a separate br tag like this all right context dot response dot write a sync save this run a project hmm br is not taken care i don't know why let leave it no problem okay now you understand right it is executed all the three what if if i am not using use method here in the second if i am not so what is the purpose of next year 
Next is calling the subsequent method of app. Next is calling the subsequent method of app. Praniti, uh, Pranit and Preeti, do you understand what I'm talking? You clear? Yes, sir. Preeti? Yes, sir. Starting part I miss. Come again? Uh, starting part I miss, so it's difficult to understand. So I will go through recording. No worries. Fine. No worries. So now, out, sir, I don't want to build the logic here. I want to call the same method as the middleware independently. How to do that? Till now, we created a logic within the app.run. Till now, we created a logic within the app.run. Now I'm going to create a custom class where I'm going to use custom logic to create middleware to create middleware using a custom class. How to do that? Whatever we seen within the same program.cs class, right? But if you write everything in this class, is it, it's, it, it's not look good. So what you need to do is simply go to Solution Explorer, right click, create a folder first. Within a Solution Explorer, add new folder, say middleware. I got my point. And then under the middleware, create a class. Create a class name called custom middleware. I can simply say my class name is my custom middleware. I created my custom middleware class here. So where this particular custom middleware class created? The custom middleware class created under middleware folder. So the namespace of that is sample program dot middleware folder. So that this class is coming. Now here you have to use an interface called i middleware. I middleware. You have to use an interface called I middleware, right click. The ID middleware has a lot of logic. So what do you need to do? Quick action, implement interface. Are you got my point? So you got the invoke async method. Now what I'm going to do, I'm copying this second middleware. Listen carefully. I'm copying the second middleware. Instead of this, I'm going to paste. I don't want a white. I'm removing because it's not required. I got my point. And then next, what object I need to pass? Context. And then middleware started. And then I will write a one more context here, middleware ended. Okay. And finally, I need to return task dot completed task. Then you build the project. Now, in the program.cs class, before I need to call this app.run method, what you need to do, you have to register this particular middleware component as a service. You have to register this middleware component as a service. 
to do that first you need to import this namespace because this namespace is not known by program.cs file so what do you need to do you have to import the namespace what is your first step go to program here using import your namespace now the namespace has been imported so what is this namespace all about importing custom namespace custom namespace of the middleware component middleware component class right after that in the builder method builder dot you see the lot of builders are available host is there logging is there environment is there all these things i never teach now i'm going to use service dot add transient here i'm going to register the class what is this class my custom middleware so the builder service to hold this particular middleware are you got my point and then under which i am going to use app dot use middleware that's all what i am trying to do is builder dot service method create an object builder dot service method create an object and when we are calling that object by using app middleware when we are calling the object by using app middleware so very simple step we are doing what we are doing first we are going to create a custom middleware class and it has been derived by i middleware interface which is derived from the namespace predefined namespace system dot microsoft dot asp dot net dot core http are you got my point where this interface has been built at so what this building is saying request handling method <coughs> request handling method what are all the requests you are coming for example i told you right we have authentication authorization and business logic sir i don't want to implement authentication inside the program.cs file so what i can do i create my own class as an authentication class whenever the request comes to us an comes to us i'm going to validate in my custom middleware class are you got my point in my custom middleware class and that will be inherited in the sample dot stuff now register here register custom middleware class as a service custom middleware class as a service to create an instance are you got my point and then here invoke or call a call a my custom middleware class my custom middleware class to execute the middleware logic middleware logic builted by builted by developer clear my point everybody clear titania nitin clear now let's see i put a break point here i put a break point of here i put a break point of first method i put a break point of middleware method now see here how the program works
it is calling a use middleware first f10 what are all the things your middleware component is executed your second middleware component started in parallel it is internally calling your third middleware which you created a custom middleware or you got my point finally it is ended with the middle middleware let me let me show you one second i put a breakpoint of first middleware run it then skip it and then i don't know let's see see it is going to f11 or f11 now see here the first middleware it is calling your middleware then it is calling your third middleware which is a run method again the concept will go to the builder method now again you will calling the third method finally it will run at object regard my point so this is how we can create a custom middleware classes regard my point even you can add a third method also first method also you can write as first method also you can create a one more call you can create a one more class saying that my first middleware simply say my first middleware here you go and use i middleware right and then implement interface go back take the code of this copy this go and paste here simply say first middleware started here first middleware ended right now save the project go back to the program.cs what do you need to do you need to register that as a service which is a service my first middleware class need to be register in the service i will tell about what is add transient and all don't worry about right now okay simply go builder dot services dot add transient my first middleware that you remove entire use method simply use copy paste say my first middleware that's it now you run it my first middleware started second middleware component started third middleware component executed second middleware component ended first middleware component ended the sequence first second third then it is so what happened first component will call the second middleware second middleware will call the third middleware where the third middleware has use method sorry run method and internally call once the run is fully executed what will happen it is calling the second middleware and the second middleware will again calling the first middleware finally it will be complete and then that entire response object render as an html output giving back to the client 
This is how you need to implement middleware in ASP.NET Core. If you want to build a middleware customly, you create a class implemented by using iMiddleware interface, implement the interface containing methods, and finally you have to call that using use middleware object or method. Clear? Yeah. Now, coming back to the notes. What is your step one? We need to create a, we need to create a custom class with any name. Right? Implemented by implemented by I middleware interface. That is your first step. You create a class implemented by I middleware interface. What is your second step? What is your second step? The second step is implement invoke async method which contains which can which can it can invoke async method contains what are all the object parameter http context what are all the object we are having http context request delegate class as a parameter request delegate class as a parameter to return task as a object in which you need to write we can write logic under this method. That is your first step. Again, see, this is all implementing. Now, how to register? How to how to register? How to register the middleware? How to register the middleware in program.cs file? How to register, Mark? You need to register. First step, we need to register middleware as a service. Right around. So you are trying to register as a service here. Let me put a breakpoint and I will show you. So I'll put this here. Okay. Run. You got the builder object. You see, there are two services are added. The service has two. not showing it has added a service these many services are there you see in that your middleware service will be there It has 83 services, out of which you will have a services transient. Singleton, scoped, singleton, transient service. 
it will have a object which I created that will be added here. See the last two lines. Lifetime is transient. Service name is my custom middleware, my first middleware. Got it? I created my own class, which has been inherited by implemented by I middleware middleware interface, will be registered as a service in builder object. Right? So this is how the builder will work. So we need to register middleware as a service under builder dot service class service object. Third step app dot use middleware method. App dot use met method as a delegate requ request delegate request delegate will invoke the custom middleware class custom middleware class containing which method containing which method Containing which method, ma? Invoke async method. Invoke async method. Shiva. Pajarim shala vasta. Pajarim shala kenda vasta. Karo now. Yeah. Da. T shop the ground for uh, version ID opposite. Invoke async method. Right? So, this is how we have to implement. Any doubts? Any questions? Online? Anybody have any questions? Now, this is for today's class. Now, tomorrow, I'm going to use a custom middleware component. What we write, everything is a middleware classes. Now I'm going to create as an individual component. That component, I'm going to make it as a register, which we can see by tomorrow. Okay? So that's all for today's class. Thank you, guys.